Hello, Professor Cloud here. Welcome back for another episode of Professor Builds a Satisfactory. Uh, in the last episode, we did our very first base move. I'll, I'll call it a base move because <laughs> base is probably a, a small, a uh, wrong term. But we moved the hub and all of the pieces surrounding the hub. We also moved our main power, quote unquote, facility. Um, at the moment, it's just really two, uh, three burners. Um, we did actually add a burner. We actually removed the hub from the power network altogether uh, because there's no way to automate the feeding of it. And then we started working towards uh, some other milestones in Tier 2. Uh, though, really, what I'm working towards is getting things ready for the building of the smart plates to move the first objective along and get that into the space elevator. Uh, we only need 50 smart plates, but they are a very uh, complicated recipe, especially this early in the game. Now, obviously, later in the game, it won't be a problem, but this early in the game, it's definitely a, a bit of a stretch, but we're going to get things set up. We've got some uh, efficiencies to clean up on the iron veins, set up a couple, or at least one new production line um, that will probably get us where we need to go for the smart plates. So let's go ahead and jump in to do exactly that. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got the milestone for jump pads here. Um, we've got our, we got everything set up. We have enough power capacity at the moment. Uh, we've got available power capacity of 90. We're running about 68 at the moment. So we've got enough room. I am probably gonna need to put a fourth here uh, actually, I'll probably put it right here and run another splitter off of that in order to uh, have enough room for the new equipment. So the first thing, though, that we're going to do is we're going to clean up an efficiency back here. And actually, let me... I just wanted to clean up a little bit around these... Okay. Uh, I don't have any more leaves. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't have any more leaves. I'm going to have to get some more leaves. Alright, anyway. We'll do that later. So, where the efficiency is currently hitting me is right here. I'm only running one smelter off of the iron vein, and as this is a pure vein, that's it's, it's slowing everything down. So really what I need is a second smelter that, to run off of here to get more iron bars and iron plates. Um, that being said, what I actually think I need to do is also move everything around. Because the only way I'm going to have room then to take advantage of this vein is if I do move everything around. So, what I think I'm going to do is destroy and recreate everything. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these barrels just in case. These barrel nuts. I'm going to grab these leaves. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and tear all of this down. I'll let everything go into the storage, obviously, but at the moment, I think I'm just going to tear everything down and reposition it so that it's sending out this way towards the hub. That'll then give me more space for the other iron vein. So... Let's Okay. I'm going to probably have to move that storage as well, but 
All right, now let's build the miner. Where's my production? There it is. Nope, facing this way. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about power at the moment. Let me let me get things situated the way that I need to. Need two smelters. Hmm. Splitter. Then we go here to here, and we can go here to here, and here to here. All right, that's step one. Step two then is to constructors. And this is where things get a little wonky for me because of the undulation of the ground. Yeah, matter of fact. So I, I really want one there and one there. configured okay then okay here we go okay one there Nicely aligned. Alright, one for smart plate, or one for iron plates, one for iron rods. And then we've got um, screws over on the vein over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this powered. some more leaves in here.
<clears throat> oh, that's right. I did. Uh, I do have rotors running over here, or had them running over here. Um, oh, I don't have these powered. Uh, let's see. What is going to be the best way for me to power this? Put a power pole here first. Okay. Put another power pole on the other side. Okay. So those will be collecting. Now I just need to move this storage. a merger. Uh, let's get up on top of you. See if I have the same problem on the other side. No, I don't. All right, let me move you then. Hmm. All right, I think I may need to look at this a different. Oh, I know what I can do. Hold on. I just turn you this way. And then have the merger. Alright, this isn't going to look good, but... Put, well, let's see. I need 300 iron plates for the milestone. And 150 cable. I've got the 300 iron plates. And then I've got a whole bunch of ore that I can turn into stuff. I'll do that in between episodes. I don't, I'm not going to make you all watch that. But as you can see, the number of rods and plates that we're actually putting into storage now is much, much, much more. Just curious. Like, could I do that? And say that. Uh, 
Here we go. Alright, now let me put my iron rods in here. Because I definitely don't need all of these. I do have my cellia that I could actually run through the biofuel bio burner. Um, let me go ahead and put those in there too. Okay. Alright, do I have... I don't have any more screws. Hmm. I need to get more screws. Well, they are over here. back to work and then let's go ahead and put in our iron plates okay that's done all right the next thing then let me see what can I can I turn I don't have enough I need more copper wire Oh, the other thing, hold on a minute, let's, uh, uh, no, smart plating. So smart plating is reinforced plates and rotors. So we know that rotors require both iron bars and... Um, <laughs> screws uh, and we're going to need 50 of those we're going to need 50 just for the jump pads but we're going to need another 50 for the uh, smart plates for the objective for completing phase 1 and then we're going to need 50 reinforced plates so I think what we could potentially do is run we can just do everything right here next to the hub. Set up and, and create as many, ro create the hundred rotors that I need, and then go grab the necessary iron plates and screws to create the necessary reinforced plates, and then run do the exact same thing. Instead of create, the reason I'm saying this is because I don't necessarily want to have to create two assemblers, one right after the other. I mean, I can certainly automate it. But for just 50, I think we can just do it ourselves for right now. Alright, let me go get uh, some copper wire to turn into... ...cabling. It's either that or I set up the same kind of... Actually, I should probably do that anyway. And I think I will. I'm going to need another burner, though, if I do that. Is um, set up the same kind of production like I've done for screws. But do it for, uh, uh, for reinforced plating. 
and either do it on this vein or probably the vein over on the other side. All right, let me create the necessary cabling and then we'll go do that. Hey, buddy. Nope, okay. <clears throat> I need 150 plus having some extra because I'm going to need to run some new cable. Pretty sure the next phase is going to require copper sheeting, <clears throat> which means we're probably going to need to find another copper vein because the one that we're running the copper wire off of right now is uh, impure. All right. So there's that. Let me go get the get rid of this these leaves and stuff that I have currently. Uh, this is wood, and that's leaves. Okay. Okay, so we need to pit, put a miner there. <clears throat> I'm going to need to move some things. I'm, cause I'm gonna, Okay, let's put the miner down first. Okay. And then, like this one, I can split the, the smelting. <clears throat> I have no idea if I have enough stuff on me to, to do two smelters. Um, Alright, so there's one. And two... And then I'm going to need, nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I need a splitter. <clears throat> Those splitters take up an awful lot of room. I got, okay, let's, uh... oh, there we go. Okay. need two constructors off of this what did I do let me go check I want to take a look and see what I did for the screws Yeah, I just did back-to-back -back constructors. So, 
I'm probably being... Actually, I know for a fact I am. I'm being inefficient even here. Because what I could be doing... But this is different, because this is one into one into one. In either case, I could actually be... Because I think this is a pure vein. Yeah, it's a pure vein. I could actually be doubling production here. I know for a fact I could be doubling production here. But for right now, it's perfectly fine. And I mean, we've got, what, 1,500 screws? But I could probably easily add 3,000 if I needed them. Um, Alright, let's get back to... Alright, hold on one second. Um, reinforced iron plates. Okay, the reinforced iron plates do require an assembler. Okay, I cannot use... I would have to put an, a, a, an assembler out in front. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I need to go actually craft some iron, uh, some reinforced plates to put down two more constructors. Um, we're currently running at 72. I'm going to also need to put in another bio burner. Uh, wow. Man, oh, they eat through screws. Holy cow, they eat through screws. So I'm only going to get 10 more. I need to put some more iron rods in. I also need to go get some more screws. So let me go do that first. Then I'll craft the reinforced plates. I need screws just to create the reinforced iron plates. What's an assembler need for more? And rotors. Okay. Um, Alright, I gotta think about this a second. <clears throat> This is where things get... I, I had the exact same problem in when I was playing through in Early Access. Because of the way that reinforced plates are produced, they're pl produced off of a, a simple item, iron plates. Which is... Mean, when I say it's a simple item, it's a first level item directly off of an iron ingot. Because um, everything goes off of the iron ingot to start. So you always need those. Um, 
but a reinforced plate is a combination of an iron plate, which is a level 1 item, with screws, which is a level 2 item. Meaning that it actually has to go through two constructors to get created. You have to create the iron bar as a level 1, then the iron bar gets converted into a screw. <clears throat> so... If I were to really do what I needed to do, my best option would be to do it over on the vein right next to where the screws are being produced. Make that, make that vein that's producing the screws more efficient so that I'm actually doubling it and having one of them feed directly into an assembler for the iron plates. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay, let's switch. I, I apologize for this, but... <clears throat> I'm going to change the way that I do this. I'm going to tear all of this de over here down. And we're going to go move it over next to the screws. <clears throat> and I'm going to make the screw vein more efficient. But step number one is to use this vein here to produce iron plates. Simple, level one item. For now, into a le into a simple smelter. Oh, I didn't need to put it that far away. into iron plates. I'm not going to turn anything on yet because the thing that I need to do first is I need to, I should really split this. Have one set that feeds directly into storage and one set that feeds into an assembler. Which means I'm going to have to tear all of this down. I'm going to have to tear every bit of this down. Oh, Lord. Because um, right now there's no easy way for me to split it. Because I did the exact same thing here that I did over there, which was gave very little room in between the uh, miner and the smelter. So, yeah, I'm going to have to tear every bit of this down. probably going to end up moving that too. All right. Um
Okay, so I need two smelters. And actually, you know what? Let me put the splitter down first. Then we need constructors off of each one of these. One of these are going to be for iron rods. Now we need two more constructors. With you being a screw, we're going to do the same thing here. The difference is this guy is going to go into storage directly. This guy is going to get fed into an assembler. So what I need to do then is I need to put an assembler. Whoa. Right there. Okay, so I need two more reinforced plates for that and eight for that. So I need ten more reinforced plates. And before I turn any of this online, I'm going to need to... Actually, where are we here? 20. So we get, do we have the 50? All right, we've got the 50 that we need for the milestones. So let's go ahead and do that. Milestone reached. The Fixit Jump Pad combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal and an ideal travel experience. Clarification. Ideal travel experience not guaranteed. Individual results may vary. Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. Okay. So 
There's my 10. I actually held the control button to line it up properly and it still didn't do what I wanted it to do. <sighs> now try and tell me that the thing is inbound this time. There we go. Okay. And then you're going to be a screw also. Now what we need is the assembler and the storage. Let me do the assembler first. Oh, I'm missing rotors. I had forgotten that rotors were required on assemblers. Let me do a little bit of leaf picking. been down there much. I'm looking to see. I don't think I... I don't think I even see any veins over there. Okay. Do I have four more rotors here? I do. Oh yeah, I'll have to choose a new milestone. Alright, so let's put the assembler down. I don't really think it matters. Where it is. need to run <clears throat> iron plates from there screws from there This isn't going to look pretty no matter what I do. So, and I'm probably going to end up changing it later anyway. 
<clears throat> so let's do that. And then... Oh, I got transport now. Oh, yeah, jump pads. <laughs> um, and then we're going to do... Something like that. With a merger. So that I can take the output and put it directly into the storage along with any extra screws. That's never going to work. There's no way in hell that's going to work. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, there's that. Okay. Your screws, your iron plates... Yeah, I, I think what we can actually just do is run, for now, I'll just do it manually for now. I don't know why the game... Hmm. I really don't like its snapping system. Okay. <clears throat> First thing is I don't need this guy. Oh, yes, I do. Because that guy's fe getting fed in power from up there. Okay. Um, one... Two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to need a second power pole. Let's put you in there. Okay. Alright, so we've got the screws back online. Another two, no, one more power pole for here. That I guess will run off of here. Um, Now, I think what I'm going to need to do... This is the one problem I have with power poles, is the limit of four. I don't understand why that's a limit. All right, let me put one here. And we're going to get rid of you. Oops. Alright, 
where are we? We're currently at 72 out of the possible 90. All right, so we can get the second. This one's going to stop because it does the assembler doesn't have power and the iron plates are not running. I need to look at where my power sits now. Cuz I have a feeling now is when I'm going to need the burn yeah, I need another burner. Okay. So this is easy cuz I had already future proof this in the last episode. Already have what I need, good. Because all I need to do now is run from you. To you. And then connect you to the power grid. And we just went to 120. Excellent. Oh, I was going to pet you, dude. All right, you stopped working. I don't think I have any more leaves for you. Need to put some more wood in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some... So two things I'm going to need to do in between episodes is chop down some more trees. Do I have any biomass on me? I do not. I may actually <laughs> need to do that almost immediately. Um, well, we're near the end of the episode anyway. All right, so what I'm going to do is go turn on the power for the iron plates and get the assembler up and running. Then we'll come back and check on the rotors. And then between episodes, we should that should get us to what we need for iron for smart plates. Okay, there we go. That puts us at max consumption now of 97 out of the available 120. All right, that's good. That's good. Oh, I have not, though. Uh, okay. Um... Configured for reinforced plating. <clears throat> Where does that put us? 112. Wow. Assemblers eat up way too much. But in any case, that is what I wanted to get accomplished for this episode. We got another milestone done. We got a number of efficiencies cleared up, as well as... Uh, some new production put in place, some more power. 
all that kind of wonderful stuff. Oh well, I'm trying. Um, what we're going to need to do, though, in between episodes is uh, get the necessary number of rotors. In fact, let's see where we are here. Hmm. We need more. Okay, there's more screws. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and you know, create stuff with what I've got sitting in my inventory right now. Uh, matter of fact, I'll wrap up the episode with that. Is let's create some iron ingots. <clears throat> so in the next episode, we'll start working. We'll make sure to clear up phase one uh, so that we can send the elevator off with its 50 smart plates. Um, and then we'll look and see what's next. I also want to... Let me actually stop that for right now. Let's take a look at... Oh, we only have one milestone left in Tier 2 anyway. So that'll definitely be the next one that we do. Um, the concrete is easy. Matter of fact, I already have it. 300 iron bars. 300 iron plates. And then 50 reinforced plates. So it's actually good that the reinforced plates are being produced uh, no matter what. Because I'm going to need extra for this milestone to begin with. So, let me go ahead and combine those. Actually, I might have the 300. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so concrete and iron bars are already good. Uh, just need to go grab some iron plates out of here. Need 300. How many do I have right now? 91. I can craft the remaining ones. Okay, that's now done. So now we're only waiting on the, the reinforced plates. But I'm going to do the reinforced plates for the smart plates first before worrying about uh, the milestones simply because I'm going to need to feed the reinforced plates into the assembler along with the rotors in order to get the smart plates created. So, And that's, of course, going to take some time. All right, with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode. As always, if you are enjoying the content, please make sure to hit the like button. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button. And hopefully I'll see you next time when we complete Phase 1 and see what's available in Tiers 3 and 4. Talk to you soon.